Now let's go to this uh, flowers story. Suppose you bought 96 stocks of flowers. How many dozens have you bought? Using your common sense, you would have answered 8 dozen. Wouldn't you? So how do you get 8 dozen? How, how can you reach the conclusion of 8 dozen? What formula have you used? Or you just use common sense? Alright, so how many dozen, I put question mark, dozen is the same as 96 over 12. So aren't you using actual amount over the standard number? Okay, aren't you using actual amount over standard number? So the same goes with how many more, the number of more. It's like the number of chemistry dozen, all right? So this one, you should use the formula big N over big N A. This one, I get it from previous page. The previous page of big N equals to small n times N A. Avogadro's constant. So you have this. So next time, just memorize actual over standard actual over standard for number of mole alright so example calculation would be a mass of iron contains 1.806 times 10 power 24 of particles what is the number of moles of the iron they are in fact asking what is the chemistry dozen in this case of iron okay this Na will always be given the value the constant of it will always be given okay the reason it has more negative one means this is the amount in one mole one mole would have 6.02 times 10 power 23 uh, atoms or molecules or ions all right so they one number of moles separate right? n here so small n equals to big n over big n a so this is the big n that we are talking about the total number all right this is a total number so you can do the calculation 1.806 times 10 power 24 and you can divide by 6.02 times 10 power 23 so you should be able to get three more okay so that's the number more it's like three dozens of uh, chemistry dozens all right so now we will go one step further. Now suppose in the early morning traffic jam, there are 4,000 cars. Each car carries 5 passengers. Okay? If I were to ask you how many cars, that would be 4,000 cars. If I ask you more specific questions such as how many people, then you would have used 5 times the 4,000. Alright? So, this principle is extended to finding the number of particles. Okay. Now, before we go further, look at this one. Ask yourself, how many sets of capsule, CO2 capsule? All this, I consider the CO2 is contained inside capsules. Okay, so answer me. How many capsules are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You have... 13 capsules alright so then my another question is how many atoms now look inside each capsule has 3 atoms how do I get 3 atoms is it C O O alright so I have 3 atoms so how many molecules 13 sets of molecule all right but as for how many atoms I would have to times 3 times 13 so I get 39 atoms so this principle is extended to this now let's be careful when we calculate the number of molecules and number of atoms example calculation show you 
zero point six seven mole of CH four. Okay, so they want you to find the total number of molecules. When they say molecule, they mean just one unit. Okay, you don't have to worry about how many atoms within the capsule. You don't have to worry about that. Okay, so let's do it. So the number of molecules, you just use the normal formula. Remember, actual equals to number of mole, the dozen, one dozen, two dozen, three dozen times the standard number, Avogadro's constant. In this case, you should be able to get 0 0.67 times 6.02 times 10 power 23. And after you press the calculator, then you get. And we should put behind the numbers wording like molecules. CH4 molecules. Now, if they ask for number of atoms, you have to be careful because we need to modify the formula. Since in CH4, we have CH, H, 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 how many atoms inside? Five. So we need to put five. Then only we put N and A. And so because of this, I use five times 0 0.67 times 6.02 times 10 power 23. All right. So the only modification is if the question consider atoms, they want to know exactly how many atoms in a molecule. It's like how many colored marbles inside each capsule. Okay, let's say you have a transparent capsule, a, a ball kind of thing, a transparent ping pong ball. Imagine there's such thing. Okay, so you put inside colored marble. Okay. So they want to calculate how many are there within the capsule. So you need to do some modification of your formula, especially such as this. And so in the end, the values after you press calculator, you should put atoms. I don't really care whether it is carbon or hydrogen as long as they are atoms. Another example would be, what if... Uh, you have KBr. Is it KBr is ionic compound? When we are dealing with ionic compound, we are dealing with K plus and Br negative. Okay, they are attracted to each other electrostatically. They are attracted to each other because one is a positive charge, another one is negative charge. So I consider here one ion and I consider here another ion. So total ion is two ions. Okay, so you have two ions. But what can we say about this is uh, KBr together after they combine, they are considered one unit and they are called formula unit. Okay, they don't longer being called mole molecule, they just call it formula unit. At the moment, do not worry about uh, how to differentiate between molecules and formula unit. Most important thing is, uh, is more or less the same. Inside the capsule, you see K and then you see Br, so there, is, there are two ions. So because of these two ions, what if they ask 6.77 mole? of K R. Okay. Six point seven seven more of K B R. So they will ask how many molecule? They will also ask how many ions. Okay. If they ask how many ions you put you should put two and an A. Why? Because K plus consider one ion, Br negative consider another ion. How many molecule is simply how many capsules? So you just use the ordinary formulas for this. Alright? 
So you can work it out. You can put the value 6.77 times our got constant for molecule, this one. And then you can calculate this one. Then you multiply 2 in front to show that we are interested in finding out the total number of ions. Alright?